Howdy, 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 my beautiful darlings. So in this pick a card tarot reading, we are going to be doing channeled tarot messages from Lady Lilith. All right, darling. So we have in pile number one, the devil energy. All right. And then in pile number two, we have the high priestess. And then in pile number three for this Lady Lilith pick a card tarot reading, we have the justice energy. So what I want you guys to be doing is to close your eyes, meditate for a moment, and when you open your eyes, see which pile is calling out to you, all right? And then when you pick out your pile, go to the description box down below. I always have chapters for each of the piles, so you can go straight to your reading, darling. All right, so let's get started with this Lady Lilith channeled tarot pick a card tarot reading, honey. All righty, my darlings who chose pile number one, the devil energy for this pick a card reading for Lady Lilith coming in here. All right. And then the moon oracle card associated with this is the full moon in Libra. A win-win outcome is in forecast here. All right. So this is kind of a pile for those letting you know that Lady Lilith has your back, darling. All right. She sees the snakes in the garden here. I wouldn't be surprised if Lilith has started putting a spotlight. All right. Because when you think about the full moon, you think about things being illuminated. Um, that is usually going on uh, in the dark. Right, darling? some shady behavior here all right there's some type of energy around you that lilith wants you just to be aware of you may be aware of it right now or you may not of uh, some type of snake in the grass here all right when you start having this double energy coming forward a little bit more all right being more pronounced challenging you is what i hear all right don't be reacting you need to remember at the end of the day pile number one that lilith is quite literally going to make sure that justice is taken care of, right? Because the Libra energy is associated with the justice energy. All right. The scales are always going to be working in your favor here. So even if things are not looking initially promising, pal number one, Lilith is letting you know, honey, that it's just like, don't be overthinking things, darling. All right. If you're feeling extremely concerned about it. All right. I do want to suggest to you guys to make some type of red offering to Lilith, all right? If you want to have that extra uh, precaution, that extra protection at this time is what I hear, all right? Something red. So let's start expounding on this a little bit here. We're going to do one more bridge shuffle. And let's get started here, darling. We have here these six of wands coming in here. So what I get with this is that as you continue succeeding, as you continue honoring your soul's calling here, right? Six of wands, this is a card of public spotlight, victory, success. This is known as the fame and fortune card, right? It's my favorite card in the minor arcana. I see people getting triggered by you succeeding. I see people not liking how you are getting everything that they wanted here. I get big time jealousy here, all right? I don't feel as if this devil energy intends on being a devil, right? I feel as if when they first started coming into your life here, they weren't feeling threatened by you, right? They didn't see the potential in you that you always knew that you had inside of you. You always knew your power, darling, right? And so I see in this dynamic here, it's like as you continue going up in the ranks, Lilith is wanting you to know that you're going to be having people just revealing their true feelings here, all right? Be careful about what it is that you share with people at this time. All right. And just have this understanding that, you know, this is quite literally just jealousy. I feel like it's just a lot of projection here. It's a lot of people wishing that they were the ones in the spotlight here. All right. I even get for some of you guys as well. This is someone that's like relatively close to you um, that you wouldn't normally expect. Yeah, Ten of Swords here, darling. There's definitely some snake in the grass here that Lilith is really trying to make you aware of, but not wanting you to react towards it, right? In this dynamic here, this is giving me a situation where Lilith is just like, hey, darling, you're going to, you know, be prepared for greatness. You guys have a lot of positive things coming in here for you, pile number one here, all right? And so as you continue succeeding, you're going to be having people trying to sabotage that. You're going to be having people try to distract you. I feel like that's their main purpose. Their main goal is to try to distract you all right and it's all just coming from a place of jealousy where it's like why can't that be me right they feel like they are on the sidelines while you are getting uh, all the attention here and i feel like that's where a lot of resentment comes in i feel as if this is someone that is more than likely going to just sabotage uh what good things they have i feel as if if you were to look at this person's life 
other relationships in their life here you could kind of gather that they're always the ones that like are saying that someone else is at fault they're the crazy one and then as you know as they continue exuding this behavior you kind of like mm, now are were they the crazy ones darling right so you're being told by lilith to practice good boundaries all right practice good boundaries the queen of swords is coming in here she's always the one where she she keeps everyone on like she's always remains on guard right because she acknowledges she doesn't come she doesn't care about coming off as the bad guy right and so even like i feel as if when you start holding back on being so open with your successes because here's the thing pal number one you you're you're the reason why the scales are working in your favor here is because like you're doing nothing but minding your business you're doing nothing but trying to just evolve yourself here all right and so the queen of wands she doesn't care about coming off as the bad guy because you are just essentially protecting your energy here you do not owe anyone any type of explanation here all right don't allow energies to gaslight you all right don't allow these energies to make you feel as if you know i feel like this will be like the typical being like oh pal number one you've changed you've changed you know trying to make you feel guilty about succeeding trying to make you feel guilty about you finally getting the attention and the success that you quite literally deserve here i wouldn't be surprised if this energy is going to try to um make you feel as if you don't deserve this here all right very much so like trying to be that devil on your shoulders here giving you that imposter syndrome and this is your this is your lesson here all right the reason why lilith does not want you to take any action at this time not only is it because she has your back here but this is a test all right you're being tested here all right this is kind of like i'm being shown like the lion and the sheep right where it's just like or was it yeah it's like the sense of where it's like the lion doesn't care for the opinions of sheep right that's why i feel like this dynamic is because the queen of wands or rather the queen of swords she does not care darling all right she's just looking after her best interest here and if you feel personally affected by that that's your business to manage not hers right and so just because you are bringing out these insecurities in someone else, those are not your burdens to be, uh, you know, to be having to deal with. Their insecurities are not your problem. Okay. We also have the Eight of Pentacles coming in here. All right. I just see a lot of things elevating for you here, pile number one. I don't know what it is that you guys have been working on here, but I get like the sensation where it's like, projects that you guys have been building up like there's something that you guys have been building up something that you already have been consistently working hard on that you have finally about to just be reaping the benefits uh gaining uh receiving the fruits of your labor here all right and so uh, it's really interesting in this way because it's like b lilith is really wanting you to know like y'all in pile number one darling i'm i'm not going to be surprised if um <laughs> if you got like people didn't choose pile number one because i see this devil energy and they're just like oh i don't know if i want that and so i kind of already know the mindset of people in pile number one and i kind of want i want to celebrate you guys because it's like you guys are not just intimidated by something of face value you guys took you guys take things head on even if the challenge before you seems impossible so i feel like you guys are like were, have been working really hard on something that seemed impossible no one no one believed you in your dream no one saw your vision and i feel like now things are starting to manifest for you lilith sees that she wants you to be aware about that and be like all right darling be prepared for this greatness be prepared for this next chapter that you already always knew that you were destined for all right you have the three of pentacles here with the four of cups all right now well, yes, we do have this devil energy that we were talking about, that snake in the grass, pile number one, all right? Do not take the devils, these the snakes in the grass, and dissuade you from connecting with other people, all right? I do see in this dynamic here where it's just like you get so turned off by people and you don't know who to trust that you end up blocking off potential good networking connections, all right, to help you go further up in the ranks, I mean, understandably, you. I feel like you do have some trust issues going on here, and I don't fault you for that. But Spirit is really wanting you to know, Lilith is really wanting you to know that there are going to be people being brought forward to your path here 
that are going to be very beneficial to you that are really essential i feel like for you to continue in this elevating energy all right let's do one last card for pal number one knave of cups coming in here page of cups all right this is new opportunities and by definition new people entering your life here all right so lilith is letting you know that she's going to be bringing forth a blessing to you in the shape of a person to help further in their intention her intention with this person is to help further elevate what it is that you guys have already been working on all right i get projects i get people trying to start create something for for themselves all right and lilith sees this uh vision that you have and she wants to help all right so don't allow this devil energy to sabotage other things right just because you have one bad egg doesn't mean all the eggs that you run across afterwards are going to be bad all right pal number one so darling that is the weekly tarot reading that i have for you this is the messages from lady lilith hopefully you found some messages that did resonate with you all right i week i upload a weekly up uh <laughs> i upload a weekly zodiac tarot reading every single week for all the signs so be sure to check out your summon resting and venus sign and i'll be connecting with you sometime in the near future if you want to book a tarot reading with me simply velco dot com as well as my social medias instagram and tiktok both being simply velka i love you so much darlings bye pal number one howdy darlings and pal number two all right you guys chose the high priestess coming in here all right so you guys in pal number two i didn't make any implications at the beginning obviously but when i see the high priestess energy all right this is i always associate the high priestess having a direct link to the astral to the other world all right and so i feel as if people in pile number two lilith is letting you know that she wants to work with you more closely all right if you already have been i feel like some of you guys have just recently started your commitments in the recent months of really working with her you guys in pile number two have been the ones that have been noticing signs repetitive repetitively coming uh showing up reminding you of lilith all right and so this is your calling this is your sign to uh commit to further work with Lilith all right do more with her all right some of you guys have been a little bit shy about doing any type of magical work with her ask for more all right you have the new moon in Sagittarius coming in here luck is on your side it's almost as if you guys in pile number two uh, you know well there's it's there's this one thing when it comes to respecting deities right but I feel as if there's like this frustration where Lilith wants you to um it's like being overtly respectful to the point where you are doing your own power your own energy to service here all right and while lilith is about uh respect darling and all that you still want to come at her from an empowered place she helps you with empowerment darling but all right um you have to be open to uh challenging your own perspective with that don't confuse respect with disrespecting yourself you can show respect to anything without um devaluing yourself all right I feel as if you guys would be extremely successful when it comes to manifesting endeavors, all right? When you're trying to bring have something happen, I feel as if working with Lilith, especially if you're trying to gain favor with individuals, would be extremely successful. I'm being shown black stones, so perhaps you guys should be working with some obsidian. This is not obsidian, this is tourmaline. We can get some type of black stone and make that as an offering to her. Let's start so we have the moon energy coming in here very fitting darling considering all things considered here all right there's things going on beneath the surface that you're not aware of all right lilith is trying to get your attention partially due to the fact that um she has like a very specific message for you guys this y'all in pile number two i don't feel like you guys are quite aware about how connected your energy is to lilith i feel like she's been part of y'all's life for a lot longer than the initial engagement of you guys interacting that's what i feel all right and so i feel like you guys should be exploring this connection with her more three of swords coming in here as well as the emperor energy mm. see here's the thing all right lilith wants to really transmute a lot of this trauma that you guys have been going through this pain it's almost as if you guys have been dealing with energies that have in your past that's kind of been your trauma right where it's like you have these people that make you feel as if you are not that you are lesser than 
dealing with people where there's like this sense of like injustice or where or you're not being appreciated here all right i feel as if y'all in pile number two need to challenge authority more which goes fitting with the message that i was getting initially right challenging authority more where you start becoming more comfortable with being the authority right it's like this weird message of where it's just like you're allowing like these people telling you what to do when if you were to do, like and they're only able to tell you what to do right now and to speak the way that they do towards you it's because you're not aware you're not awake to uh realizing like how that you're their boss i'm getting like this weird specific scenario pal number two where it's just like you guys don't remember a part of your essence like there's this part of you that lilith wants to really reawaken in you that has started to really slumber or just dim away due to past traumas past pains and she's really she sees this something inside of you that stirs that i feel like even if you were to be honest with yourself and being willing to give your yourself more credit there's something in you that's extremely powerful it's like this sense of um I don't know why I'm being shown like a throne. It's so interesting. I've only had that be shown with Lilith from one other reading that I've done with somebody. Yeah, there's something inside of you guys that she wants to awaken. And that's part of the reason why Lilith wants to work, work with you guys closer. Nine of Cups coming in here. See, here's the thing, you guys. You guys are not asking enough. You guys are not asking enough. You guys are not giving yourself more credit here. All right. I feel as if if you were got if y'all were to start switching things up, full energy here. If y'all were to start switching things up, if you you guys were to wake up and realize like just how much you could actually get if you were to just ask, how much you could actually manifest if you were to just have the energy it's like a sense of guidance perhaps. If you, like you guys don't realize how much you could manifest if shown how to properly handle your energy, how to manipulate your energy properly, this gives me very much so like a mentorship. Like Lilith really wants to work with you guys um, big time in all facets here. Let's continue on. Queen of Wands stepping in here. There's this like message here. Yeah, it's like some of you guys are not being bold enough here. Some of you guys are afraid of, it's like you have the opportunity to like really release like a project, release something of your own, do something that would be potentially risky and it would be extremely profitable. Knight of Cups coming in here with the Three of Cups. You're going to be surrounded by some good people here in the coming days. I feel like what's going to be happening if you guys are open to connecting with Lilith on a deeper level here, because at the end of the day, I'm only just a messenger, darling. It's up to you guys to make the final decision and what you should be doing. But I feel as if for those that make the choice of working with Lilith closer, having a closer relationship with Lilith, she's going to bring forth a familiar for some of you guys. Others of you, it's going to be a social group, like a collect, like three people, four people coming in here to help you out. Not all together, but that's going to be, it's like once you make that agreement, you'll know that Lilith has agreed to it and is ready to start working with you by this new energy coming in. The doors start opening up for you uh, almost immediately once you start working with her on a closer level. All right. Almost immediately, I feel. Let's see if there's anything else. Tower moment coming in here. And now I'm assuming anyone that's receiving any type of insight from Lilith already comes prepared, darling. All right. This is not rainbows and sunshine. All right. The moment you start working with Lilith, the reason why so many doors open up for you is because you're got y'all are going to be having a tower moment. All right. The thing, the reason why demons get such a bad rap is because demons work in a way where it's just like they don't care about your comfort level. You know, if you are trying to create something successful and like the foundation is faulty demons are going to be the ones that just like completely destroy it and make you uncomfortable but the end result is powerful 
<clears throat> Four of Pentacles and Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. The moment you start working with Lilith, do those doors open up because of the clean slate. She, it's like this sense of where she's going to show you how to properly invest your energy, your time, your money, where to invest to really get the extreme profits coming in here with that Ten of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles, that's a card of investments. That's why I talk about investments here. There's, this is so interesting to me, pile number two, because it's like Lilith is really taking, like, has a strong desire of mentorship with you guys. She really wants, like, this is not just like a simple message of just, you know, be prepared for what's coming in. Out. No, this is like straight up Lilith being like, hey, I see the potential that you have inside of you that if you were honest with yourself, you see it as well. You know, it's in there. You know, it's in there like slumbering and she wants to break it out of you. All right. She's she doesn't care about your comfort level. She doesn't care about like the subtle, just, you know, you know, do a little bit each day. No, it's going to be, you know, so you have to be prepared when you start your work with Lilith that you are fully ready for what that really entails. It's not rainbows and sunshine, honey. All right. This is not no Care Bear Station, darling, when it comes to working with Lilith, but I'm assuming y'all already know that. So, uh, yeah, darlings, that's the tarot reading that I have for you. This pick a card reading of channeled messages from Lady Lilith. All right. If you enjoy this tarot reading, let me know in the comments below. I always upload weekly zodiac readings. So, check out your sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign. And if you want to book a private reading with me, simply Velka. Dot com linked down below next to my social medias, TikTok and Instagram, both being simply Valka. Same as here, darling. All right. I love you so much, pal number two, and I hope I can connect with you sometime in the near future. Bye, darling. All righty, my darlings, you chose pal number three. All right. You guys chose the justice energy coming in here. This is like a direct message of letting you know of some type of injustice that's already has happened to you here. All right. When I see this karma energy, I immediately think about the karma. All right. I even look at the owl here. All right. And I see the owl as seeing through facades, seeing through the lies, the fakery, honey. All right. Pile number three. It's the sense of like, and you already saw through it too. And so it's like, I get like this sense for some of you guys in pile number three, like this frustration of where you're just like, oh, why is karma not happening with this person? Why is this situation not resolving itself i thought you know it's like you're selling saying to yourself it's like you know like why is it this bad person wins you know when your intentions are pure you have the full moon coming in here just the straight up full moon darling all right starting to the divine lilith is wanting you to know pile number three here directly where it's like you know release yourself of the sense of control that you need to have that you feel like you need to have with the situation because lilith is going to make sure it's taken care of She's going to handle it, darling, all right? There's, you know, someone, you feel as if karma's missed somebody, maybe more than somebody's a group, I hear, because I get, like, the sense of where it's just like, no, 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 don't forget someone over here, darling, as well. You feel as if, like, karma has, is just doesn't like you. You feel as if karma has, like, a personal vendetta against you, darling, because of, like, everyone that has, you see all these people that are just not good, right? You're narcissists. Uh, especially family members. Hello. Um, ugh, that must suck. I feel it. Yeah, it's just a sense you're wondering what's going on here. And Lilith is letting you know. She's like, let me handle it. All right. Let me handle it. Some of you guys, in order, if you want this Lilith to handle it on her terms, darling. All right. Make an offering to her. Make an offering to her. I have a bunch of videos about Lilith on my channel. So maybe one of my other videos can inspire you and in how, what kind of ritual to uh, create. Or if you want some personal help with customizing a ritual, just email me, darling. All right. So let's get into this here. We have this nine of cups coming in here. As well as the six of swords. Oh, shady business here. Shady dealings. Someone, someone got greedy. I see the sense of where it's just like you were continuously growing, building something here. And it's like someone showed like their two facedness here. Someone's like doing shady business behind your back here while you are while you are while you are giving to them your life essence, your energy, your love, your emotions, your money, darling. Right. They end up turning around and selling it off. Darling, be careful about who you tell your stuff to. All right. Be careful about who you tell your stuff to. All right. Someone really, it's, this is like very unnecessarily like 
being shady towards you. And I can understand why you feel the type of way because you're just like, this person went out of their way to be harmful towards you. This person went out of their way to take from you, pretending as if they are grateful for you. And then behind your back, they end up just like going to other people, having crappy, shady conversations, shady dealings with other people. It's like you give them a gift and immediately they give they sell off the gift and while they sell off that gift they talk about how uh, they just talk shadiness about you the entire time. Oh, yeah. Darling, I will say if you want to have a little little handle this, darling, just you know, this is going to be on Lilith's terms, so be careful what you wish for. I will just say Nine of Swords coming in here. I'm not surprised by this. This is the card that I noticed when I, but right before I started shuffling again. The reason why this person is acting the way that they do is because you make them insecure, darling, all right? They get so in their head. You could just be doing nothing. You could just be watching The Real Housewives, darling, all right? You could be just minding your business, playing with your cat. And it's like, they get so lost in their head. They are so insecure that it's like, they just start spiraling just from you existing. You know, you make a post on social media, they're the ones that make it about them. You know, this is very much so like them spiraling, them doing their own damage while you are just sitting there existing. Like, like they, again, that's why it's like the sense that they went out of their way to bring injustice to you and Lilith is just being like, darling, like I'm gonna handle it. But if you want me to handle it, darling, I don't want to hear no complaints after the fact. All right, but justice, you know, karma hasn't forgotten. Karma has not forgotten here. All right, pile number three. Mm -mm. We have the five of cups coming in here. And page of swords. I don't feel like it's even worth trying to communicate it with this person. I feel as if you, you some of you already did try talking about it because you're just like, or you tried to move on from it initially because you're just like, uh, you know, give the benefit of the doubt or what have you. And it's like they continuously try to make an issue out of it. You know, with this page of swords here, this lets me know where it's just like not good communication. And you'll notice like more shady dealings. It's like both of these cards here go out of their way of sabotaging things, right? They go out of their way to just sabotage things. You can't communicate with them. They're always immature. They're always lying right they'll say one thing to you but then again go and complain being like oh people in pile number three like they don't even care about me they they never help me out with anything they're so selfish they're so greedy when the entire time darling you were just giving all that you were giving to them your time your energy your love being that emotional support for them that you don't have to be and all the while they're still talking behind your back this is pointless to even try to engage with them because they just want to, they have a narrative that they want to set, click onto where they think they have the, the strong level of self importance where they think like your world, like they revolve around your world. So it's like, this is pointless to even talk about with them. It's like talking with a child. I wouldn't be surprised if some of you guys are dealing with like a child, someone that's like 17 years old at least mentally because it's like this is just so immature it's like this person wants to have an issue they create issues out of nothing yeah <laughs> darling a lot of people don't like the um three of swords the tower energy five of wands my least favorite card pal number three this is just conflict. Lilith is letting, this is literally Lilith saying, darling, being like, you know, this is nothing but drama. This is nothing but stress if you were to engage with it. This person wants to bury their own grave. They're, they want to dig their own grave, bury themselves, and then complain and say that you did it to them. You forced them to do that. All right. This is an impossible energy to reach. So it's just like, Miss Lilith, she's just like, let mother handle it, darling. Allow mother to handle it in the way that mother wants to handle it. All right, and you just like hands off the situation here. Queen of Wands energy coming in here as well. I wouldn't be surprised if Lilith has been showing up to you as some type of animal, because that's something I keep on being shown is like this some like common theme here of like um, some familiar familiar. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm saying, like some type of animal, some familiar girl. I can't say it, so I give up. Uh, energy coming in. It's not a mistake. All right, you keep on seeing some animal constantly making an appearance, some type of animal or a specific animal, like a specific cat or something. Could be not like something just keeps making its appearance repetitive. 
You have the death energy here, all right? With the judgment energy. <laughs> all right, file number three, honey. All right. Now, obviously, we all know the death doesn't mean quite literally death here, but it's kind of funny that we have this type of dynamic here where it's like, let little handle it, darling, all right? And then you have the judgment energy and the death. I always say the judgment energy is spirit taking action in the physical world here. So, in this de sense here, in the literal sense, Lilith is going to cause death in the situation, which in reality, is just like uh, making it so they're no longer relevant in your life anymore all right cutting ties that you have the energetic ties between you and this energy here all right because i feel like again i feel like if you trying to handle this on your own not to discredit you or anything like that pal number three but it's just like it's more so this other energy like the obsession like the immaturity like it's like you want the least amount of contact with this radioactive energy as possible sure you could take care of it but at what cost is it worth it? No. Yeah, we get this Ten of Wands falling out. This, this is so much heaviness. This is like a connection of walking on eggshells. You're just trying to do your business. And it's just like, yeah, this unstable energy, unstable energy here. Darling, how did this person even become relevant in your life first and foremost? Pile number three. Like, my God, my God. Ugh. <laughs> all right so pile number three this energy is too much for me darling all right i feel like i got the point across about what lilith wants to uh help you with if you should allow the, her to all right N you know never mandatory to connect her energy all right i'm simply just a messenger but um yeah pile number three this is the tarot reading that i have the pick a card reading for lady lilith the channeled messages if you enjoy this tarot reading i upload zodiac uh weekly zodiac readings so check out your sun moon rising and venus sign each week and if you want to book a private reading with me simply velka Dot com pile number three next to my social medias in the description box simply valka on both instagram and tiktok same as here love you so much pile number three and good luck with this energy darling